So what I'm gonna be doing today is going back from Call of Duty World at War through Black Ops 3 and playing the worst maps on those games. These are the worst maps in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think the worst maps on these games are. I'm gonna be doing a different challenge on each map that's more catered to those maps specifically. Without further ado, let's get into the first game. The first map I'm playing is Verrucked. It was between this and Noct. It was because Noct has not aged very well, but Verrucked is definitely worse. On Verrucked, I'm gonna be doing the one box challenge, which if you don't know what the one box challenge is basically all you do is you get to the box you get one hit on it whatever weapon you get you got to survive as long as possible with these being the worst maps and with this being the second time i have to record through these maps because a silly little game named black ops 2 made my mic peak again whatever the challenge is i'm doing i'm just going to be shooting for round 10 this is also going to be the only wall weapon that i'm going to buy and as soon as i hit that box this is going straight back into it oh but also my 4060 came in which has been so nice the fact that i can play modern warfare 3 now on higher ultra settings and i can still get about 100 more frames than my other graphics card is actually insane same thing with black ops 3 at max settings and get double the frames that i was getting also on the modern warfare 3 topic i'm starting to get really really sick and tired of all these warzone tiktokers and warzone loadout makers getting into zombies because i think this is like an app that has like whatever the the metas are and they added a section for zombies and in the zombie section one of the meta weapons that they have listed two of the meta weapons that they have listed are the haymaker and the riveter which if you don't play modern warfare fair zombies those are two of the shotguns and to put it into perspective how bad they are they're actually like the equivalent of using an olympia on bo1 or bo2 unpack a punch past round 25 like they legitimately tickle zombies it's unbelievable i also almost have enough points to get my first box weapon or my only box weapon oh my god uh, it, uh, uh, uh. I uh, I can't speak. I ca I can't I can't speak. This is the best gun in the game. Maybe I shoot for the round 15 just because I have this. First thing I need to get is jug though. But no, also on my past two videos, y'all been commenting some nice shit. Like, y'all got me kicking my feet and blushing type shit. I think with my old streams, like with my old graphics card and it just not being where I want it quality wise, I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to that, like the quality of the videos that I'm putting out. I, I did, most of them are just privated. Some I just fully deleted, but I'm probably gonna like start fresh with these, like these challenge videos. Just because the other videos weren't like where I wanted them to be. Like not saying this, video but like the old streams that i used to do but i am like so down to go back and play play custom zombies maps and record them instead of doing a stream because i talked about this in the the spawn room challenge in, on every map is that just two double points streaming is hard bro like it's like oh you're just playing a video game and letting it record like how hard could it be i dude i i give props to anybody that like streams consistently especially if they're a small streamer because big streamers have like all these like people in chat that they can talk to like small streamers don't have that they have to just constantly be talking bullshit and when you have to do something like that it, it is so tiring like recording it there's a train again. Recording and editing it that recording and editing is definitely like more time consuming, but streaming, I think even though it's not as time consuming, it, it, it's definitely harder in my opinion. But I, I am curious on what you guys think like the worst map in every game is. I think after this video, what I'm gonna record is the best map in every game, but I am like firm on what I think the worst maps in every game are. The only one that maybe has a little bit of wiggle room is this game. And that is literally just because Noct exists. I actually don't think Shinonuma is all that bad. Bad. I just think the World at War engine's bad, but Shinonuma, I would prefer over Noct and Verrucked, just because I hit, number one, I hate the layout of Verrucked, and Noct is very, very, very bare bones, but Shinonuma has the same, like, random effects that Nuketown has, which, like, as I've gone back and played these games, I, I think that's, like, a lot cooler for a survival map. There's our first look at the Varuk Sprinters. You know, a couple more kills, then I can get Speed Cola. I literally need like one more kill. The only thing that's scaring me right now is ammo. That's what it's gonna be for this map, just as a whole. I'm gonna absolutely rip through ammo. Like the PPSH is good. I think it definitely is one of the better ammo counts in the game, but all the ammo counts in this game are just bad. So get Speed Cola. I also think the only game that the map that I pick is gonna be controversial is BO2. Besides that, I think I think these are kind of known as the worst maps. Again, Varuk can kind of go also to Noct, but Bro, I need a max so bad. This is actually starting to get bad. Okay, I have my three perks. 
Oh, that's huge. But I have my three perks. Quick Revive does absolutely nothing for you in this game, so I'm just not gonna get it. I'm just gonna save my points. I think just so I can keep the video like a little bit shorter because I said the last one was gonna be shorter and it was, but it was still almost 50 minutes long. So I think like to keep this video just a little shorter, I am just gonna do the round 10. I got really, really, really lucky on this first box pull. Like the last one that I recorded and my mic was just peaking and the audio quality was awful. I got the bar, which the bar isn't bad. The bar just has little to no ammo. I got really lucky with max ammos in that one though, which was nice, but it's like, I don't know. I don't want to pray to RNG Jesus. I'm just going to get through these, get to my round tens and just keep moving along and try and keep this video just like a little bit shorter than that one. Cause I don't mind the videos where I'm doing every map and every game to be longer. Cause when someone clicks on a video like that, they're expecting it to be long. They're not expecting it to be short. And I'm totally fine committing to that editing process. But I'm gonna try to keep these like smaller ones, like towards 30, 40 minutes. But yeah, also having a 40, 60, I can now comfortably run Alan Wake 2 and I'm probably also gonna re-download Baldur's Gate because I could run Baldur's Gate fine I just couldn't run at high graphics but now that I can comfortably run both of those things oh my god Alan Wake even with DLSS looks like it looks almost hyper realistic it's actually insane like if you put that game in front of an elderly person they would ask where it was filmed but there is round 10 on Verruckt again got super lucky with getting the PPSH that was huge but now we're gonna move on to the next game I almost started this game without recording but the next game we're playing is Black Ops 1, and the map we are playing is Shangri-La. On Shangri-La, the challenge we're going to be doing is the no power challenge. It means I cannot turn on power. I, the only perk I'm going to be able to get is quick revive. And again, I'm just getting to round 10, and that's going to be the challenge for this map completed. Reason I'm picking Shangri-La is just everything about this map. I think its only redeeming quality is it's definitely the best looking Black Ops 1 map and the baby gun. And that's it. And honestly, as I go back and I play Black Ops 1, I will stand by this is probably my favorite Call of Duty game. I think this is definitely definitely one of my least favorite Treyarch zombies. I think every version of every map in this game that's like been remastered is just infinitely better. Like Call of the Dead on Steam Workshop, infinitely better than normal Call of the Dead. Every Zombie Chronicles map, infinitely better than their original versions. With BO1 being on the World at War engine, or at least the engines being very, 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 very similar, this game is just so janky and that takes points away from every map for me. Also the box being here is huge. So I didn't really want this. I can't pick those up the box one more time and hopefully I'll be good. But no, every every version of these maps in Zombie Chronicles just play infinitely better, like on Black Ops 3. Like I get these being like iconic and obviously they're the original versions, but at the same time, bro, they did not age well. I think the one redeeming quality for Black Ops 1 is I like the layout of most of the maps. Like if I don't like the maps themselves, I do like the layouts of the maps. I'm also gonna see how fast I can get to round 10. If I can get to round 10 like relatively quickly, I might try and go for round 15. But then again, BO1, no perks. I think I'm, I think I'm chilling on round 10. I also can't wait till you guys see my Black Ops 2 pick. Gonna make so many nostalgia bandits so mad. This is also like not a really good place for me to sit right now. I'm definitely gonna start opening up the map. Yeah, being able to play a map normally is, is nice though. I do prefer this experience to all the experiences I've had before this. Besides maybe Black Ops 3. Because Black Ops 3 for the one box challenge, I got the, the 48 dredge. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try and go for as long as I possibly can on this map. So I didn't think I would actually go for all that long. I got to around like 37, 38. And I got to the point where I'm like, you know, I kind of just want to edit this video and be done recording and just ended it like i wasn't struggling on black ops 3 at all even at like round 37 i was i was just kind of tired of recording and talking i just wanted to get to the editing should probably hit the box again to get rid of the sages 10 no, I'll take it. But no, after this challenge, I think I'm definitely going to do uh, the best maps just to, you know, like cleanse the palette a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to do like another video like this, like these different challenges on different maps. That's probably what I will do, but I actually can't wait for that. Just going back and, you know, actually enjoying the old games for once. Because like, don't get me wrong. These challenges are definitely fun to do. By the time you're at like the final map or like the final couple maps, you really just want to get off whatever game you're playing. Like they're fun initially when you start the challenge, but... Uh, you keep going and it's like, Jesus Christ, please end my suffering. Especially with like certain games, bro. Like World at War, I just want to get off as fast as possible. Like I don't, I don't throw the games, but like I'm definitely not enjoying my time. I can tell you that much. Ooh, this is not good. This entire underground area is part of the reason why I don't like this map. I have two pistols now. Python is definitely better than the CZ, but oh, Commando's huge. Okay, I'm just going to keep this. I got one more round anyways. I'm just going to chill. Whoa, whoa, since when can they do this? Since when can they run? 
No, oh my god, bro, what was that? Since when can those zombies run? I thought they were like perma walking. I thought that's their whole shtick. That's BS. If I actually lose this on round nine, I'm gonna be so upset before I do anything. Grab quick revive just so I have it. Also, question just popped in my head because I'm holding this gun right now. What are your guys' favorite weapons of all time? Like like Call of Duty weapons. What, what are your favorite weapons of all time? Because I think the commando might take that spot for me. Like, I'm not saying it's the best weapon of all time, Time. But I think it's definitely my favorite. This gun is just so sick. I love everything about this gun. And then they brought it back. They brought it back in Cold War as the XM4. Oh my god, I was so hyped for that. But no, 100%. What are your guys' favorite weapons? Are you kidding me? I just got jumped. That thing just jumped me. But that's this map. I'm getting off this game. Jesus Christ. Now we are on to Black Ops 2. And the map I'm going to be playing is Mob of the Dead. How many of you got mad? Because I'm actually going to be playing Transit. Because Transit is by far the worst map in this game. And arguably the worst map of all time. A close second for worst map on this game I think is Die Rise. And I think it's like you can swing either way on what map you think is worse. I just personally believe that Transit is worse. I just think that Transit has so many many more things that are more annoying than die rise hello uh, hello let me pick up my oh my god bro like die rise i think is at least tolerable compared to transit also before i forget there we go that's so much better so on transit i'm gonna be doing the two box challenge you wanna Thank you, Jesus Christ. But again, I think you can make the argument for Die Rise being the worst map like for sure. There's just a lot more things I hate about transit than I do die rise. Also, look at these things, bro. Goofy ass run. Like, if you break down the bad things with transit and you break down the bad things with die rise, transit just has more. Lava and fog. The wonder weapon is god awful. Also, first weapon, what are we gonna get? Sick. What the hell's the last zombie? Why are you all the way over here? So this is already starting out really, really bad. Also, transit is just absolutely ginormous. And like, yes, there's the whole bus system, obviously, but the bus sucks. You're in a tiny enclosed area for like the foreseeable future. Like you might as well just run, but then if you run, there's denizens. Oh, we're, we're done. Bro, round, round 10, I'm calling it. Obviously, I am doing the two box so I can turn on the power. I can get perks. I can get jug. I can be more, at least, semi-comfortable. Whoa, Jesus. It's Spider-Man. Also, technically, with these, I have unlimited ammo. So that's pretty cool. I think, arguably, the ballistic knives are better than the S12. I'm just taking the bus. I'm playing this shit safe. Come on, Ted. Let's go. Also, I learned a cool fun fact about Ted. You guys want to hear my fun fact? The fun fact I learned about Ted is his name wasn't actually Ted. Like, I don't think he had a name. I don't know if it was a lore website or like something along those lines, like labeled him as Ted. Like, I think that's what they just called him. And Treyarch actually, like Treyarch made a canon. That, that was his name. They just kept that name. And that's how we got the name Ted. Like he wasn't, he didn't have a name. On the bright side, I can just sit here. Oh, wow, thanks. But no, if it's not Transit or Die Rise, what do you guys think is the worst map on Black Ops 2? I could definitely see an argument for Nuketown, but I, I think Nuketown is the best survival map. So like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's the worst. Like you could say one of the survival maps from Transit, but even then that's still just, that's still just Transit. Insta kill is huge. Now I can actually use my ballistic knives again. I have a decent amount of points. I just have to go turn power on. But again, I'm just chilling on the bus. Max ammo is crazy. I'm gonna start using the S12. Can we go? Can we go, please? Can we leave? Can we go? Bye-bye. Thank you. I think, like, I got arguably the two worst weapons. Besides maybe the SMR. But even then, the S12 just has quite literally no ammo. Like, I have 21 shots left in that, bro. And ballistic knives. I think this map is for sure better with no fog. But that doesn't... Oh, bro. That doesn't get rid of the lava. That's my biggest pet peeve about this map. I was gonna say, ooh, I can buy the AK-74U here. But I'm doing the two-box challenge. So I can't. Die, please. Die, please. I need to get in here. I also need to make crawlers. We have a crawler. So now we're at least kind of chilling. If I could get a max ammo that would be great yeah this is gonna be awful lead them all down here maybe i can oh that works bank bop bank bop oh that doesn't work okay okay now we're gonna build power to switch and the panel oh that killed him oh no this is not good oh this is not good at all that jump to this day still scares me i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to hit the round 10 with these guns here comes the denizen uh-oh and i'm down oh no oh no oh no Get me up! Let me up! Let me up! Let me in, please. Let me in, please. 
Let me in, please. All right, all right. This this might be where it wraps. Oh wait, this is the way to town, isn't it? I love denizens. Denizens are so cool. I can buy jug though, so that's cool. Once I have jug, I'll feel a lot safer, especially with the ballistic knives. So at least jug is nice. I still just have no ammo. Okay, I need to get back through here before I do anything. Like, the ballistic knives aren't horrible. It's just without jug, they're not good. I guess I can shoot him in the head, but like, God, I also feel like I have to be really focused right now with these weapons. I'm also 100% grabbing stamina up get my quick revive back and i'm gonna feel even safer okay let's see let's see if i can't grab this i think my best bet is to go back to town because i have no ammo just bro you know i get the whole thing that everything in this map is designed to make you slower because this map quote should have been on next gen but that doesn't make it any less annoying so honestly i think what i'm gonna do is just chill at town because i have stamina up and jug here i have my quicker five okay this is still a two knife thank god because i just have yet to get a max ammo it's actually insane one round eight and not a single one has dropped no i take that back one has dropped one has dropped when i very much did not need it but now that i actually need it it is not going to drop oh no it's gonna be the slowest round 10 of my life Ooh, let's not Let's not go back there. I am terrified. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh boy, a carpenter? No way. All right, unless something happens, I'll be back with you guys once I clear this. Look at this, bro. Well, there's round nine. One more round, I'm getting off this map, bro. I got an S12 with no ammo and ballistic knives. Like, in what way could this be worse right now? This is the S12 and the SMR? Oh boy, the bus is here. Yeah, I need to chill out for a second. Getting risky out here. Because even if I, like, correctly train the zombies... Ooh, shit. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Oh my god! Oh, I need to wait a second. Oh, I can't just instant jump off. I'll go down. Oh my god. Even if I train the zombies correctly. Oh shit. Woo! Get fucking juke. I still either A, hit the fire, or B, I kill a zombie and they blow up and they hurt me. It's just a lose, lose, lose. I'm just getting this nuke. Please, for the love of God, let that be round 10. Just die. Okay, that's round 10. Wait for it to pop up, then I am off this map. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, we are moving on to the next game. So the next game and map that we are onto is Zetsubo no Shima on Black Ops 3. I don't particularly think Zetsubo is bad. I do think it is the worst map on this game, though. If we're not talking remasters even then i still think it kind of takes that slot also now that i have my 4060 and i can crank the graphics on this game it looks so much better also i want to make sure it's not doing this again if i go to my graphics for some reason it set my render resolution to 120 percent so i was just getting a lot less frames for absolutely no reason but on zetsubo no shima what i'm going to be doing is a spawn room challenge just because i feel like that's fitting for this map we can't get quick revive if we go down we're done and once we're done with this map we are done with the challenge i think we've hit the goal on every map so i'm happy with that i don't know if i want to do round 10 on this one just because i have the rk5 and i have a shiva with attachments so i don't know if i want to do 10 or 15 i might just go for the 10 and again just make this a shorter video but again same question if you guys don't think zetsubo is the worst map on this game what do you think is the worst map on this game and that's not saying that you think the map is bad that's just saying that you think it's the worst on that game just compared to the other maps because like Zetsubo has to hit a crazy mark like the mark that Zetsubo has to hit is shadows de gk and even revelations for that matter like yes revelations isn't i think what there's one or two rooms on that map that are original if i'm not wrong so like yeah you could definitely make the argument for revelations but like the other maps no i think those are like every other map besides Zetsubo and revelations is a top 10 if not top 5 zombies map like i don't hate this map I know how failure feels on oh god with how fast we're progressing through this like I've been recording this game and I accidentally picked the wrong map for five minutes so if we get to round 10 really fast I'll, I'll probably do around 15 but no while we're on the topic on that what do you guys actually think the worst map of all time is I have my answer locked on what I think it is. But I'm curious, I'm curious on what other people's like worst maps of all time and like why they're your worst maps of all time. Like what actually puts them there. You know, there's a good amount of people that will say Black Ops 4 maps just because people say Black Ops 4 maps. So 
people say Cold War maps just because people say Cold War maps. And this is this is more like a like a Treyarch question, right? This is more a, what map do you think is the worst on a Treyarch zombies? If we're talking non-Treyarch included, my answer changes. Like my answer 100% changes if we're talking non-Treyarch map. If we're talking Treyarch map, for me, it's transit. I I just hate everything about transit. I don't like the Easter egg. I don't like the wonder weapon. I don't like the map. I don't like the layout. I hate the lava, I hate the fu like it does not have a redeeming quality to me. Besides town nostalgia. But that's nostalgia, that's not actually a point. But if we're talking non-Treyarch games, Shaolin Shuffle. I hate that map so much. That's one of those maps that I just get angry at the thought of it. Seven more I forgot this, uh, this mod has a zombie counter. And Shaolin Shuffle for me is the same type of deal. That map does not have a redeeming quality to me. Just in my opinion, does not have a redeeming quality. And it's worse than Transit. Oopsie whoopsie, I accidentally mutated a zombie. Oh shit, all right, there's the Thrasher dead. Let's try and not do that again. But no, like I'm playing this map as the worst map. I don't think it's all that bad. I played Shangri-La as the worst map for BO1. I think BO3 Shangri-La redeems it. I do think the BO1 Shangri-La is bad. And skill and nuke is huge. I need to remember to come into here to get these screenshots. And World at War, I played Verruckt because I don't like Verruckt at all. I never really liked Verruckt. I just not, not a huge, not a huge fan of that map. But like if you guys don't agree with that, like, like I wanna know why you guys like wouldn't agree with that like why those are the worst maps or like why you really like them because it's funny there was this whole talk going on in renzaru's discord and someone had moon at number one and had call of the dead in in their top 10 i'm dead okay there's round uh, round 11 yeah cool okay uh so we're done with that challenge but i appreciate you guys for watching if you didn't like make sure to leave a like if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel i'm gonna be uploading a bunch of these i appreciate you guys and when i come back i'm gonna be doing the best maps to cleanse my palette